If you're in the market for ANC earbuds, deciding which one to get might be a bit tricky. This year, we got three new excellent earbuds. We got the AirPods Pro second generation. We got the Bose QC earbuds 2, and we got the Samsung Galaxy Buds 2 Pro. Which one is better? How do they compare to each other? Let's find out. Now, before we start this review, a few disclaimers. In most cases, it does not make sense to cross match between Apple and Samsung. So if you have an Apple iPhone, it doesn't make sense to get the Buds 2 Pro and vice versa primarily because you lose the ability to customize and you lose some features as well. So if you have the Galaxy Buds on an iPhone, you cannot customize many of the features. However, I say in most cases because there are still a few cases where it could make sense. If, for example, you have two phones, a work phone and a personal phone, one is an iPhone and the other is a Samsung, or if you have access to either phone, which would enable you to configure them the way you'd like, or maybe you like a particular form factor so much that you're willing to forego any of the customization or extra features. Either way, in this review, I will be comparing the earbuds in and of themselves, that is comparing them as earbuds irrespective of their ecosystem. Also, I did review each of these products separately, so I will not be reviewing them in this video. If you're interested to see my review of them, I will put the links in the description below. So let's start with design and specifically with the case. As you can see, all three take a different approach to the cases. The Bose QC Earbuds 2 is significantly larger than the rest. Granted, it has been reduced significantly from the first generation, which was humongous. Still, it is larger than the others by far. Also, in my opinion, it feels a little bit plasticky. I'm not very happy with how it feels and how it sounds. It does not sound like a premium case. Also, it's the only case that does not have wireless charging, which is an important feature for me. I'm not sure why Bose decided not to include wireless charging on this one. The previous generation did have wireless charging. So in my opinion, this is the worst of the three cases. Then between the Samsung and the AirPods Pro 2, the Samsung case is smaller in size than the AirPods, but it's also thicker as you can see. Also something that is for me important, others might disagree. I like the fact that you can open the AirPods Pro case with one hand. The Samsung one is a bit more difficult to open with one hand. Both, as I said, have wireless charging. The addition to the AirPods Pro second generation is this speaker over here and the U1 chip, which gives it Find My capabilities. So if you lose this case, then you can find it using Find My on your iPhone, which gives it an advantage. The Samsung also has a matte finish, while that of the AirPods Pro is more glossy. In my opinion, I prefer the AirPods Pro case. First generation case was my favorite amongst the three, and now with the UN chip, with the Find My capabilities, and also the speaker, this makes the case even a better option. So that would be my first choice. And then the Samsung case comes in second, and the clunky Bose case comes in third. Now let's talk about the design and the buds themselves. They have different approaches as well. With the AirPods Pro, you have that stem, which we got used to. The Galaxy Bud have an open ear design and they fit flush in your ear while the Bose QC earbuds have a new two-tip system which provides an excellent seal and a very secure fit. Now if we're to talk about comfort I would say the Buds 2 Pro are the most comfortable alongside the AirPods Pro. After a while you really don't feel there's anything in your ear. Which one you'd pick is up to you. If you like the open ear design of the Buds 2 Pro then that's for you or the stem design of the AirPods. Both of them are extremely comfortable and in my opinion more comfortable than the Bose. That's not to say that the Bose is not comfortable because they are but you don't forget that they're in your ear after a while and that's partly because of their size. They're a bit bulkier and heftier than the others but also because of how they fit in your ear with that two-tip system. They're designed to provide an excellent seal which they do and this helps greatly with noise cancellation and we'll talk about that in a bit but that excellent seal means you still feel them in your ear and they're a bit less comfortable than the rest. 
That does give them a very secure fit though, so they will win there in terms of secure fit as the most secure of the bunch, followed by the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro, which are very secure as well. And in third place, the AirPods 2 Pro, which in my ears, they're not the most secure earbuds. Ears come in different shapes and sizes, so your mileage may vary, but in my ears, they're not that secure, and I found I need to put in memory foam ear tips to make the fit better and more secure. Now in terms of how you control these, the AirPods Pro have the stem with the force sensor on it, so you control them by clicking on the stem. But new to the AirPods 2 Pro, which was not on the first generation, is volume control, which is a great addition. And the way you do that is by swiping up and down on the stem to increase or decrease volume. Now, while that was a great addition, the implementation, in my opinion, was not that great. I found it to be a hit and miss, a bit difficult to get it right. I might need to get used to it, but not the best experience, in my opinion. Still better than not having volume control at all, but not the greatest experience. Whereas on the Bose and the Samsung, both of them are controlled via touch gestures. So you have the tapping, double tap, triple tap, and volume control by swiping up and down. The Bose does enjoy a larger surface area. So in my opinion, it has better and easier controls. The Buds 2 Pro still work really well in terms of touch sensitivity. No issues over there. The only complaint I have is because of their design and their small size, whenever I have them in my ear and I need to adjust the fit, sometime I inadvertently click or touch the touch area and end up pausing, playing, etc. Also, volume control on the buds comes through a lapse feature whereby you can actually tap over here, here, or here to increase and decrease volume, and it works surprisingly well. So if I'm to rate them in terms of how you control them, I would say the Bose comes in first with touch controls that work flawlessly, followed by the Samsung Buds 2 Pro, which also work really well, with the small exception of triggering them inadvertently when you're adjusting the fit. And in third place, the AirPods Pro with the force sensor and the volume control that is now, in terms of sound quality, all three of them sound really, really nice. I am not an audiophile and also sound is very subjective. So if you're looking for an expert analysis on sound quality, this is not the right place to get it. I'm afraid you're going to have to find another review for that. All I'm going to say, all three of them sound fabulous, very crisp, very detailed, good instrument separation. Sound is subjective, so what you might like, others might not. What I can say is I found the Bose a bit more bass heavy. The Samsung Buds 2 Pro are a bit brighter or a bit more dynamic, and the AirPods 2 Pro a bit more flat, but still sounding really nice and much better, all three of them, than the previous generations. So you won't go wrong with any of these three in terms of sound quality. And again, if you're looking for expert analysis and comparison in terms of sound quality, I'm afraid you're going to have to find it elsewhere. Now let's talk about ANC, the star of the show. All three of them promise exceptional ANC. Bose even says they offer the best ANC of any earphones, earbuds in the market. Apple has said their AirPods Pro 2 offer twice as good ANC as the previous generation. And Samsung has also improved their ANC on the Buds 2 Pro over the last generation. And I can say all three of them are great in ANC. When you start with the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro and put them in your ear, you instantly realize that they actually do a really good job at blocking out noise. And I've tested these with low frequency constant sounds like that of a hairdryer, but also walking down the street and also in busy coffee shops with people talking. And the Samsung Buds 2 Pro offer really good ANC. But then the moment you put in the AirPods 2 Pro, you realize they are that much better. You instantly notice that they are better at blocking out noise. Now that same effect, you also have it when you put in the Bose QC Earbuds 2. You notice that they are that much better than the Apple AirPods Pro 2. So all three of them, great ANC, but if I'm to pick, I think in third place, the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro, followed by the AirPods Pro 2, and in first place, and really the best ANC I've actually ever tested on earbuds, and actually pretty close, to rival those of headphones, 
both QC earbuds too, with exceptionally good ANC. Now let's talk about transparency mode or awareness mode. All three of them offer that. In my opinion, nothing comes close to the natural feeling of the AirPods Pro, the first generations, and then these are even better. When you activate awareness mode or transparency mode as what Apple calls it, you feel as if you have nothing in your ears. They're that natural sounding, followed by the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro, which are less natural sounding than the AirPods, but still do a decent job at it. And in third place, the awareness mode on the Bose, which is even less natural sounding, but still an excellent awareness mode. Now, a small note over here that both Bose and Apple have adaptive transparency mode. And the idea is that while you have transparency mode or awareness mode on, they will cut down on loud noises. Now they have a different approach over here. With Apple, they only attenuate noises after a certain threshold. I'm not sure what it is. I read somewhere 85 decibels. I haven't verified that information. But in my testing, I turned on the hairdryer. I did not notice anything different. I also walked down the street. I did not notice anything different while toggling the adaptive uh, transparency mode on and off. There was even an ambulance that passed by, but it was quite distant. Also, no change at all. When I came back home, I did turn on the blender. And here's where I saw that the sound of the blender was attenuated just a little bit. I then turned on my smoke alarm or my fire alarm and the sound or the noise of that siren was also brought down a little bit so you can still hear it but it wasn't very sharp and very painful bose on the other hand has a different approach and in my opinion a better one where it brings down any loud sound a notch so it's kind of like noise cancellation meets transparency mode even when i turned on the hairdryer with the airpods pro 2 nothing happened with the bose it brought down that sound walking down the streets all the sound of the cars the traffic was also brought down so while bose loses in terms of the naturalness of transparency mode they actually win with their adaptive transparency or awareness mode which was really nice to have now let's see how they perform in our call quality tests so let's start off with the AirPods Pro 2. I have these in my ear right now, and this is what they sound like in a quiet environment. So these are the AirPods Pro 2 in a quiet environment. Now let's go to the Samsung Buds 2 Pro to see how these sound in a quiet environment. And now we're listening to the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro in a quiet environment. So again, this is what the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro sound like in a quiet environment. Now let's go to the Bose QC Earbuds 2 to see how they sound in the same quiet environment. And now these are the Bose QC Earbuds 2, and this is how they sound like in a quiet environment. So again, these are the Bose QC Earbuds 2 in a quiet environment. And now we're back to the AirPods Pro 2, and now let's turn on a loud hairdryer in the background, so you can hear how well the AirPods Pro 2 cancel out the sound of the hairdryer. Let's now switch to the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro. And this is what the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro sound like with the same loud hairdryer in the background. So again, this is the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro with a loud hairdryer in the background. Now let's go to the Bose QC Buds 2 with the same loud hairdryer in the background. And now we have the Bose QC Buds 2. The loud hairdryer is still on. And this is what the Bose QC Buds 2 sound like. Now let's go outside to see how all three perform in a real-life noisy situation. So let's start off with the AirPods Pro 2. As you can see, I'm on a busy highway. There are cars passing by below me, but all around as well. And as you can see, there's some wind as well. And this is what the AirPods Pro 2 sounds like in a loud, noisy and windy environment. Let me switch to the iPhone's microphone so you can hear how loud the car actually is. And now I switch to the iPhone's microphone. So this is how loud the environment here actually is. And now let's go to the Bose QC Earbuds 2 to see how these perform in the same environment. So now I have the Bose QC Earbuds 2 in my ears. Same loud environment, same loud noises, and this is what they sound like. So again, these are the Bose QC Earbuds 2. Loud environment, cars rushing by from everywhere and this is what the call quality sounds like. Now let's go to the Samsung Buds 2 Pro to see how these sound in the same loud environment. 
And this is what the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro sound like in the same loud environment. As you can see, there's a little bit of wind as well. And this is what the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro sound like in a loud and noisy environment. Let me know in the comments section what you thought about the performance of all three earbuds. So the AirPods Pro 2 and the Samsung Buds 2 Pro both cut down the background noises quite significantly and do a marvelous job at it. However, the AirPods Pro, they sound more natural. Your voice sounds more natural. On the Buds, they, it sounds a bit more synthetic, less natural, still very clear, but less natural. So my favorite is definitely the AirPods Pro, and I think they offer the best call quality in any earbuds that I've tested, followed by the Samsung Buds 2 Pro. On the Bose, it was a bit a disappointment, my voice did not sound very clear. Also worth mentioning that in the outdoor test with the windy situation, it was significantly less windy when I shot the segment of the Bose versus the AirPods and the Samsung Buds. So even with less wind, they performed significantly worse than the others. So you can only imagine if there was more wind, they were gonna perform even worse. So Bose comes in third place, Samsung in second place, and the best call quality experience, in my opinion, goes to the AirPods Pro 2. In terms of price, the Samsung Buds 2 Pro are at $229 the AirPods 2 Pro at $249, and the Bose QC AirPods 2 at a whopping $299. So which is the best pair of earbuds? Unfortunately, there is no best. If it was up to me, a combination of all three would be the best one. But as I always say, the best pair is the one that works for you. It's the one that fulfills your needs. What I can say, if you're looking for the absolute best A and C, then the Bose QC AirPods 2, in my opinion, offers the best and see it's going to be very hard to beat out of any pair in the market that's not to say that the rest don't have excellent anc they do but the bose has a slight edge over the others if you're looking for the best call quality then i think the airpods pro 2 also has an edge but all three of them offer excellent sound quality excellent anc and really good and very comfortable fits as i said in my introduction if you have an iphone it makes more sense to get the airpods than the samsung buds and vice versa if you have a samsung it makes more sense getting the Samsung Buds. Another point I did not talk about, neither of these have multi-point connectivity, so if it's something that matters to you, you cannot connect them to more than one device. However, if you are in the Apple ecosystem or the Samsung ecosystem, both the AirPods and the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro have seamless switching amongst devices in their ecosystem, which works great. So this is something to keep in mind if you would like to connect them to more than one device, then maybe go down the route of the AirPods or the Samsung, depending on which ecosystem you are part of. But now that you know how they compare in all categories, I hope this could be helpful in assessing your needs and making your purchase decision easier. As always, if you like the review, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to my channel as this encourages me to continue producing content. Until next time, cheers.